Thank you, gentlemen, for your service and uh, for being here today to answer our questions. Uh, Secretary Gates, when we capture an enemy combatant in Afghanistan or Iraq, do we read them their Miranda rights? No. So why should we do so if we capture one in this country? That's a question better addressed to the Attorney General, Senator. Y you were the director of the Central Intelligence Agency before you were the Secretary of Defense. Yes, sir. So I assume you have an opinion on this. I have, my view is that the issue of whether uh, someone is put into the American uh, judicial system or into the military commissions is a judgment best made by the chief law enforcement officer of the United States. Well, before they get into either commission, there's a question of being able to ask questions. And certainly, we know there's a chilling effect when we give someone their Miranda rights. So if we're not doing it overseas, I'm not sure why it makes sense that we would be doing it in this country. Well, we have, we have in place uh, protocols now uh, that, and, and there is authority under the law that if a person is deemed to be a threat to the national security, as a, a self-confessed terrorist would be, uh, that there can be delays in Mirandizing uh, to allow time for questioning. So we have the authority to do that, even in the Article 3 system. Uh